Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to another video from, of course, me, the Scavenger. And, uh, well, today I'm actually going to talk about uh, my next upcoming game against uh, Shadow Valley Murkrow, or Mr. Murkrow, on YouTube and Twitter. And he beat me really, really badly in, I believe, week 5. Yes, uh, a 6-0 loss on our side. And while that game, um, I will say that I was not prepared for it in the way I was hoping for. And due to that, and uh, I might sound very, very cocky by saying so, um, I basically did not prepare well and lost 6 0 due to I was not. <laughs> I was not preparing for his team uh, right. And um, I knew that going in, and uh, it. It cost me a lot, it really did. And also show how much you have to prepare for a team like this. Since we actually have the same kind of structure, um, he has Excredible, Talonflame, Tyranitar, Superior, Mega Manetric, Slowbro, Blissey, Amongus, and Swampert. Um, now, he hasn't used Toxic Rogue once. Uh, he drafted that really, really late. So, uh, I will, in to all intentions, think that he's gonna bring that Pokemon Venufin. And, um, he has been taunting me about uh, that he is a superior sand player, and I think with that in mind, I will actually avoid. Uh, I will try to ride on his sand. Is what I'm trying to say. I think he will do the same thing. Um, I think he's not going to bring Tyranitar, but I'm going to prepare for it anyway. Uh, but basically, if he doesn't do that, then there is no sand on the field, and that means that our best pokes is gonna have to be the ones that juggles it off. Uh, now, I will not use Stoutland in this match, I will not use Shansi uh, due to the possibility of ha him having substitutes on a few Pokemon. I could definitely expect Superior, for example, uh, to set up a free sub against my uh, <laughs> against my Chansey, and that's something I really want to avoid. I don't want uh, Superior to be a major threat. Um, Superior is definitely a given Pokemon for in this battle, so is Talonflame. Uh, Excadrill for getting you know, for help. If he brings Talonflame, then it has to have Excadrill uh, to rapid spin things away. Uh, Mega Manetric outspeeds my whole team, so it's very likely that it's gonna be a part of this game. And like I said, Toxic Rogue seems really, really obvious here. And then it comes to what Key's last Pokemon could be, and that is between Slowbro, Blissey, Among Us, and Swampert. And um, my Thunder is gonna prepare for all of them. Um, Basically, the, the, the defining factor is the wall he brings is what is fear most. So I don't see Blissey, but Slowbro among his Swampert defensively, I can easily see those. Uh, I need to keep my funders alive um, to all, like whatever happens throughout the game, that really needs to happen. Um, I'm gonna just look at my own team and try to tell you guys what we decided on. Actually, huge shout out to Friket or Ellis, to my assistant coach. Actually, uh, he has been helping me a lot. Uh, he did help me against Connor, which was a, eventually a forfeit. And um, also, just he, he's very good. Like he throws out the things my opponent probably prepare for, and what I should do to counter them, and then basically make my own interpretation of what he thinks and still make the play style in a way that I can use this. Um, so the first thing, like I said there, I'm not going to use Shansi, I'm not going to use Stoutland. Magnuszone is very, very bad against this matchup. And of course, the NG can't win the matchup against Excadrill. It's actually going to be wheeling me down. So by default, we already know I already like cut six Pokemon out of uh, their usage, or they, they're not that useful this match. Uh, so Keldeo is a thing, he powered on is definitely a thing here. Uh, special defensive hit powered on in case he brings um, or he have hidden power eyes, I can take three of those before going down um, if uh, he's gonna bring that against me. And um, also if his Toxic Rock is specially invested and has some vacuum wave and stuff like that, I should be able to take a fully powered focus blast from 50% HP. Um, that is what I'm intending. Uh, I really need that to happen. Um, I need to come in on that basically. If it is physical, then you know it should be no issue. Kelio will pack your hidden power psychic. Uh, Scolipede basically to sweep his team, he can't stop Scolipede outside of Talonflame, which means the rocks needs to go up. 
um, just, so that's why I'm going to decide to have rock slide and uh, actually dump in whirlwind and have just uh, earthquake rock slide slack off and uh, stuff rocks and mega chump is gonna be a perfect game it's gonna be a substitute sword dance set with earthquake and dragon claw and uh, basically it hurts stuff it's not supposed to be the key sweeper here, but it's definitely outspeeding a lot of his Pokémon and it can survive a hidden power ice from the Mega Manetric. Which means that I'm gonna use Garchomp in a way that it's gonna dent something. Um, it is the least important uh, Pokémon of my team, um, by default, depending on how many walls it brings. If it brings a lot of walls, then Garchomp is gonna be a major player. If it doesn't do that, then Garchomp is gonna be sackable uh, to some extent. Thunder's T is gonna have hidden power flying. Uh, we're gonna have safety goggles there to avoid Among Us Spore and avoid potential sandstorm uh, damage. So, like I said, um, gonna have hidden power flying, full switch to get out of a dirty situation. Um, but more uh, focus blast for Blissey and Titar and the Grass Knot for Swampert. Grass Knot actually Oko Swampert, which is great to know. Uh, so Thunder is gonna be, like I said, really important this match. I can't lose him. Uh, have to keep him alive to some extent, uh, but I have to lead with it, and I have to. Su I'm going to suspect that he's gonna bring, uh, actually, <laughs> what do you call it? Um, damn. Um, <laughs> I have to prepare for that. His superior scarfed, and if it is that, then I'm gonna win the matchup, no doubt. And Sigilyph is going to uh, be. I was intending actually for a focus um, focus sash set, but decided that uh, switch that out for tinted lens and have that scarfed uh, because I do realize that scarfed Siglyph actually outspeeds his whole team outside of potential superior and um, ooh, what is it called? If Excadrill, no, I outspeed Excadrill. So basically, tinted lens makes sure that everything I hit. Uh, I hit with enough power, um, so knowing that going in, uh, that's gonna be super super important. And uh, yeah, basically we're gonna look at what my um, colleague did right here for me because he mentioned that Koba Baryon Keldior might be a thing. Um, I'm running enough speed to outspeed Excadrill if uh, it's not in the sand. Um, and I have no real defense investment, but I should be able to take a banded Braybird. It will do 95%, which means I can do it that once. Um, he powered on, leftovers like we said there, Sand Force instead of Sand Stream. I don't want to... Uh, um, I don't want to... How do you put it? I don't want to give him a right of my... Of, of, the, of the Sand, basically, but I want to take the right of his Sand. <laughs> and uh, afterwards, like we said there, Thunders. Um, he suggested Sigilyph with Focus Sash, um, and I will consider it, um, but uh, I think for this match it's not going to be as usable, um, because I can actually do a lot of damage with Sintelens this match, and it's not very likely that Stealth is going to whittle Sigilyph down that much. Uh, and I've got Garchomp, and this is actually his suggestion. I was banking on either Stealth or Garchomp, but Garchomp, you know, after all the thinking around it, it is a superior Pokemon to use this battle, and uh, basically it's it's a wall breaker. It's supposed to take hits and take something with it uh, at best. And Adam got Stoutland, which he suggested, and he also suggested Scolipede, and we ended up deciding on uh, well, on Stoutland. And yeah, that's gonna be the game. Like what I said here, I really, really see him bringing Superior for a lead. Uh, if you use Swampert, it's very likely to be a lead too, but I'm gonna use Thunders no matter what. Um, he can't use Lightning Rod on Mega Manetric that well. It's not really that powerful, even if he got a um, special attack. If he start off, for example, with Slowbro just to taunt me to get a Volt Switch off, uh, if Mega Manetric comes into that, it's not gonna get that amount of special attack to be a threat to my team. Mega Manetric overall is not a threat to my team, and uh, I don't see it um, being able to help him that much. Uh, a big, the biggest threat for me is Talonflame, and that is only because it is the only thing that can stop Scolipede. If Talonflame is gone, 
then I should pretty much win. Uh, I could miss a Mega Horn, I guess, which Mega Horn does 80% 80, 80 on a Slowbro, at least. So that means the Slowbro is really, if it is just will down just a bit, got a nice chunk of damage from it, it's gonna go down. Like, there is no way it's gonna act differently. And knowing that, it's gonna be important for me, um, because Scolipede is just winning the game, to be honest. Um, Serpero can't beat it, Teetor can't beat it, Excadrill can't beat it, Slowbro can't beat it, Blissey can't beat it, Among Us can't beat it, Toxicroak can't beat it, Swampert might actually beat it. But that's it, like, he has two Pokemon that can't deal with Scolipede, but Scolipede is the MVP this match, there is so few things that my opponent can do to stop that, and knowing that is gonna be a huge advantage this match, and I think my opponent knows this. So yeah, with that in mind guys, with this video coming up also means that the match is a do and uh, I will see, you will see that result by then, like an hour and something like that, I guess. Anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching and I see you guys in a few hours. Until then, take care, bye.